here we are going to understand about gravitation okay you know gravitation in in gravitation every particle of the matter attract from the every other particle of the matter this is a clear for us every particle of the matter attract from the any other particle of the matter in this world okay and every particle of the matter almost have the a one a special mass that suppose that uh, here is a two particle okay this is a m1 and this is a m2 okay and uh, be almost uh, in 60 60 87 sir isaac newton also published newton's law of the gravitation we know that the from the newton according to the newton every particle of the matter attract from every other particle of the matter suppose that here is a two particle of the matter one particle of the matter is a m1 and second particle of the matter is a m2 okay so according to newton's every particle of the matter attract from every other particle of the matter suppose that this is attract from in the another particle of the matter m1 attract from the m2 okay so according to the newton every particle of the matter attract from any other particle of the matter with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses directly proportional to the di suppose that here first uh, mass is first m1 and second is a particles weight is a m2 so uh, we can understand force of the two masses here is a, is the rest. you can do it here is a force a between the two particles suppose the particle number one and particle number two here is a which is between the force of the particle f and distance so according to newton's we can understand that every particle of the matter attract from another particle of the matter with a force which is a directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between suppose that a it's a, a uh, distance of uh, I mean uh, to be is distance between two particles is R okay F is, uh, is equal to force of the two particles force between two particles it's okay and R is a uh, distance between two particles okay here is a, you try to understand f is equal to force between two particles and r is equal to distance bit distance between two particles okay so let's come here okay so according to newton's two particle of the matters attract from in one particle of the matter attract from the in this universe according to newton's first particle of the matter attract from the another particle of the matter and so this is the main point to matter force with a directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so uh, first is a, suppose that if two particle is a mass is a m1 first first particles uh, mass is a m1 and second particle mass is a m2 okay so first is a, to be newton's uh, between two particles, F is a direct direct force directly proportional to the force directly proportional to the third mass. Uh, also, I already know that the first mass is the M1 and second mass is the M2. So, F is a directly proportional to the M1 and M2. Okay, and the second is a second is a B already. I can tell you. I, I could tell you this is that uh, second is uh, directly between the two particle of the force is uh, inversely proportional to the air uh, square of this is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between to them between them okay so f is the inversely proportional to the one upon r square okay. here probably this concept is clear so for uh, combin fertilization combi combination of the two two equations for that uh, this is the first equation, this is the second equation, okay? and combination of two, uh, two parts, two equations here, you can write here, 
F is a, is a directly proportional to the EM1 EM2 upon R square. So F is equal to so F is equal to capital G EM1 EM2 upon R square. You can only think about it. G is a G is the capital G is the universal gravitational gravitational constant so if we taking this formula we take here universal g is universal gravitational constant where is the value of g is this is equal to 6.67 meter square per kilogram so probably hopeful for you this video and uh, this is a clear for and uh, I press this value is important in any competitive exam so, will understand this point is clear for you I press this value is 10 meters square per kilogram square per. so you can understand unit of the unit of the capital G here I can add newton meter square per kilogram square value newton meter square per kilogram square is the uh, unit of the capital G and uh, dimension of the dimension of the dimension is EL cube, EL cube, EM minus one, T minus one. So I hope this video is useful for you. Okay. So clearly you can understand Newton according to Newton.